piece of shit wristwatch. Morning. Hostile broadcast picked up. Son of a bitch, it actually worked. I'm going to rest. All I gotta do is hit him with about three or four bullets and they'll all die. See that? <laughs> System analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. Please stand by. Subject located. Just following orders. Is that your excuse? All will have their turn. Hello agents, welcome back to another episode of Building Legends. Lily was forcefully separated from her daughter during the quarantine, and she later learned that Savannah had died due to mistreatment at Roosevelt Island. This trauma forms the foundation of Emily's quest for vengeance, and gets everyone responsible. 
everyone who stood by and let it happen. Emmeline turns out is the asymptomatic carrier of the disease. Something that she takes a lot of pride in, as if she were spared so she can enact her revenge on everyone else. Through shrink and charisma, she leads the outcasts. It's her force of personality that drives and pushes them and recruits willing warriors to a cause. The build I have for you today is, is to emulate Shaw's desire to spread the green poison to everyone she feels betrayed her. As you spray your pestilence filled with hollow points, you will apply three debuffs, which apply a damage over time effect. Wipe out a horse of that in just a few rounds. Let's get into the breakdown. Starting with your specialization, here's a couple options. Survivalist is going to be a good choice for PvE side of things. We'll be spreading bleed all around, and you and your allies will get a 10% increased damage to status effect and enemies speed to tactical link. Killing status effect the enemies also pieces to survivalist special ammo conditions and we'll make it rain special ammo for you and your whole squad. Also, the fire grenade is one of the best in the game. For PvP and higher level difficulty PvE, Demolition seems to be the way to go. Simply for the uh, explosive ordnance which increases bioptic damage, and tactical link which uses 5% damage to out of cover, and increases damage to every tick from every source. Also, the mortars are another great way to apply bleed. Our primary, the infamous Pestilence. Robbed by the devs of applying a true status effect, and paired with ongoing and vile, each shot applies a triple threat of damage over time. It will leave your opponent scrambling for their medkits, trust me. And that's only after a few shots of mid-contact. For your secondary, of course you have to go with her signature weapon, Emeline's Guard. Right at survivability, you don't actually have to kill the enemy with the gun itself to get the heals. The mop with preservation, however, has a better effect. The grudge is a good option, as it will provide extra crit for you and your team for killing a status affected enemy. Everlasting Gaze is a great option for PvP. It's ruthlessly strong, and it almost guarantees a kill. Any Gobo Sadis is a good option. This high damage buff is better than most gear talents. And last, my favorite, the Slayer. Yep, here's a place your Slayer can finally call home. Think of it as just another way to apply status effects that hit surprisingly hard. Card side armor, of course. We're going with four piece ongoing directive for the rules engagement talent. Killing a status affected enemy grants hollow point ammo for your active weapon. Hollow point ammo amplifies your weapon damage by 20% and applies bleed on hit. We're also going to be wearing the backpack for the trauma specialist talent. Increases the duration of your bleed status effects by 50% and bleed damage done by 100%. To be further amplified by our one piece china light with glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 20%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. The damage you deal by 25% includes all your ticks from your pestilence, blue bleed, and even your vial. Our last piece is the Exotic Bile Mask, where it's talent Toxic Delivery. Status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage, increased by your status effect attributes. Which is why we're running the Demolition and Specialization, as well as One Piece of China Light, as it increases your overall explosion damage, increasing your concussion grenade damage which increases your tick damage from your vial. The ratio of reds and yellows is up to you. I found myself sliding more and more into red as I continued to play the build. I settled at two skill tiers and four reds with our sub attributes obviously being status effect and skill haste, with our mods providing additional haste. The way I see it, this is by far the best way to utilize the pestilence. Don't agree? Well, I suggest you give it a try if you're skeptical. That's all for today, agents. Stay frosty. Keep building outside the box. Fade out.